Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us for JMLT's 2022 kickoff. Uh, I'm Linus Huckel, Executive Director, and I'm joined by my colleagues, Melanie Hogan and Emily Kokernak of our development team. They're out and about, um, and we're gonna start the program, as you can see, with this map that is an overview of the East Bay, which more or less shows our service area, which is East Bay, Contra Costa, Alameda counties. And uh, as for this kickoff, we're gonna look a little bit to what's already been attained and very much forward to our most uh, uh, immediate project. So to do that, let's start by going to Pacheco Marsh and some of the activity that's been going on there of late. To orient you to that, you can see that Pacheco Marsh is along the Walnut Creek Channel at the confluence to Sassoon Bay, right at the Benicia Martinez Bridge. So many of you probably joined us, many of you probably joined us recently for a big event out there. I'll touch on that. And then later in the program, we're gonna swing very much to the south, cross county, to um, our newest project that's been announced fairly recently, uh, the acquisition to acquire Harvey Ranch here. Now you can see the relationship of Harvey Ranch to the Painted Rock Preserve. We already own the nose of that property here. We'll hold the easements. That all adds up to 505 acres. You can also see its adjacency to the Lafayette Reservoir here with the Rim Trail. You can come from that trail down to here, come across the trail system as it's developed in the Painted Rock Preserve, out to the Lafayette Moraga Trail, and either in through St. Mary's College here up to Harvey Ranch or out Bollinger Canyon. We'll have a staging area out here. Or you can come around via uh, Rancho Laguna Park over out at the end of uh, Camino Pablo and up through Car Ranch. But one way or the other, Harvey Ranch is that portal or gateway to 10,005, 15,000, excuse me. I, that's that number so big, it, I'm in awe of it. I sometimes slip. It's 15,000 if you count. Uh, Painted Rock Preserve, 15,500 acres connecting to the upper San Leandro watershed and a massive amount of trail system out there, all of it flowing as it were right through Harvey Ranch. So I'm going to close out of that map now that we're oriented and screen share another, another item uh, that is essentially our program for today uh, starting again with that splash si slide that says JMLT kickoff, um, which we very much appreciate your attending today. And uh, a little bit of background for those that don't know, although most on this on this uh, video will will understand that we're a local 501c3 nonprofit. We're your local land trust, uh, non governmental, entirely private 501c3 nonprofit organization. Uh, our mission is to, as you know protect and care for open space, ranches, farms, parkland and, sh park and shoreline in the East Bay. All of that is very much relevant to what we do. And as we do that, we remind ourselves that it's all to, in order to ensure that the, uh, the beauty, diversity and fullness of our natural areas are there to sustain all life uh, for generations to come. And uh, we wanna permanently protect that to sustain us all. Um, this is again, the service area that we work in. Um, and it corresponds to the map view that you saw at the top of show. It's, it's essentially that swish there, the pale area. This shows a few of the properties that we already own, um, but not all of them. When we do purchase properties, we and set to permanently protect them. In every case, we create a property icon to commemorate that collaborative achievement. And always with thanks to our wonderful graphic designer, Megan Mailer, for her beautiful artwork and design. And these are just a few of the properties that have been protected. Uh, there's more that have been uh, permanently uh, protected through our acquisition projects and, uh, you know, many in the pipeline. But with that track record of experience in mind, today, per what, we, what we saw at the beginning, we're gonna take a look at two properties that are very demonstrative of some of our work just attained and work that's ongoing. 
starting with Pacheco Marsh, as many of you know, it's a 231 acre saltwater tidal wetland at the foot of the Walnut Creek watershed or Walnut Creek channel, channel where Walnut Creek flows into Sassoon Bay and including this important water from tributary streams that originate in Moraga, including headwaters um, at, at Harvey Ranch. So the regional connections are profound. And as we acquire Harvey, we're also protecting watershed that goes all the way to Pacheco Marsh. And we do that with our great partners at the Contra Costa Flood Control, Paul Detchen as lead on that restoration project, as well as EBRPD and how they help us not only originally attain Pacheco Marsh, but also um, with respect to some of the uh, northern entrance to the Bollinger Canyon area that we will share and collaborate with them about vis-a-vis uh, -vis Harvey Ranch. So we've recently made great progress towards restoration and eventual public access on top of that restoration of Pacheco Marsh. So let's, uh, let's take a little bit of a view of that. In fact, here's a long view to give you a sense of scale of that property before the restoration. We are then proposing features of an eventual public access that are being tailored into the restoration. They include recreational trails, uh, bridges, uh, four bridges, vista points that are elevated, boat launches. I think we're up to four kayak launches at this point. There'll be an education, an environmental education center, uh, which is really something we very much esteem. This could be a destination from student, for students from throughout the region. All the amenities that you'd expect, parking, restrooms, and beautiful wildlife viewing points for what will be a, a birding paradise, along with many other special status species that make that marshland their home, and three miles of multi-use trail to take a look at it all. So here's a view of some of what that public viewpoint might look like as, as an elevated platform. And of course, in addition to public access, the restoration uh, provides natural solutions as we often want to reiterate that protect shorelines from the buffering waves, that trap sediment, protect water quality by filtering the runoff and metabolizing nutrients that weren't being uh, filtered before because it was just a channelized stream from back in the day. Uh, uh, in Army Corps, we really are bringing it back to its natural state. It will protect community infrastructure. There's industry and road surface and all sorts of things down there that during periods of intense flooding are damaged. And really importantly, it will help sequester and store large quantities of carbon to help address global climate change. So to accomplish that restoration of public access, uh, we set out to get things done. And so we did some of this and we did some of that to create some of these canals so that on October 29, we could breach the levee and reconnect this channel of water at shoreline to once again flood Pacheco Marsh, now sculpted for the return of tidal influence and rich saltwater marsh habitat. And to do that, we got a big piece of equipment out there to start breaking that levee and here we go. You can see the water flowing in and with a fire boat salute, no less, many of you were out there to witness, resulting in the aforementioned tidal flow and return of saltwater marsh habitat. So you can see the scale of that project. It was a wonderful day, October 29, when that happened. And uh, we're really looking forward to now creating the public access piece of that project. Simultaneous, as we discussed at the top of the show, to the Pacheco Marsh Restoration and Public Access Project, we recently announced JMLT's campaign to save Harvey Ranch. Um, I think we're about three or four months in. Um, it goes all the way through December 31 of 2022. And Harvey Ranch is named specifically for Charlene Harvey and her late husband, Jim, uh, both of whom have a deep connection to conservation in the Bay Area and beyond. Uh, Jim was chair of the Presidio Trust, which of course led to the GGNRA and all that we enjoy over in the Marin Headlands and around the Presidio. Charlene ran the fundraising campaign as chair for uh, Chrissy Field and continues to be very involved in those sorts of efforts. And, and, and again, the family has just been wonderful to work with, very much interested in conserving 
this property to buffer the wilderness that is just south from where we live, just to the north. It's a wonderful, a wonderful balanced approach to uh, conservation, and Charlene has led the way in that. We very much appreciate it. Um, and the campaign icon that we we created uh, with respect to Charlene's wishes and Harvey Ranch shows the adjacency of Harvey Ranch to St. Mary's College. This is another really wonderful aspect of this project. And it is a multi-phase project with a budget for the campaign of $4 million, which enables us to purchase and permanently protect the property. And again, right up against where the college boundary ends all the way out into the Upper San Leandro, Upper San Leandro watershed. So why permanently protect Harvey Ranch? Well, you saw the quality of habitat out there. It provides natural solutions for those needs at very low cost compared to human engineering, all of which protects clean air, water, our collective quality of life. And it will also provide a new gateway to nature, as I mentioned before, that includes 15,000, and if you include a painted rock preserve, 15,500 acres of pristine refuge property to the south and miles of multi-use trails that offer endless opportunities for public recreation. This will be a destination, including to downtown Moraga. It has an economic benefit, 1.2 million visitors to the Lafayette Reservoir a year to just bring a percentage of that to downtown Moraga and out into this wilderness in a safe and, and really wonderful experience of trails along Ridgeline will be a wonderful benefit to uh, future generations. And here's a wonderful uh, shot of the, its adjacency to St. Mary's and uh, indicating also the wonderful opportunity for environmental education associated with this project as well. It effectively expands and permanently protects St. Mary's College campus, but it will also provide a living lab to su support environmental education uh, for college students and how they interact with younger students, including as early as kindergarten, as we all work together to better understand, you know, environmental education and what goes on with these properties and how important they are to preserve. And I want to ask that with this view of St. Mary's in mind, let's go live to the property. You saw at the beginning, uh, I was introducing my two colleagues. They're not just on Zoom in office. They're actually out on property, Melanie Hogan and Emily Kokernak. And I think if I stop share here, I can ask them to come on view. Hold on one second. I ask them to um, start video and we'll see them out on property. And um, I will also ask them to unmute. So a little bit of stage management here. There we go. And you can see, instead of staring at me in the interior of some odd office, they're out in a beautiful open space expanse on Harvey Ranch. Melanie and Emily, let's start with Melanie. Melanie, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, so um, thanks, Linus. So yes, I'm at Geisberger Obs Observatory on the St. Mary's campus, and you can see the Victoria Cross here in the distance. Um, I'm going to pan around so you can see a little bit of the campus in the background. Oh, you really are right and, there, aren't you? Yeah, and uh, the chapel is down here and all the buildings that make up the beautiful campus. Um, in the distance here, you can see Mulholland Ridge. Right. Huh. And then uh, to the uh, right of that is Painted Rock Park, which we preserved uh, in 2019 with the support of many generous donors. Um, that's 505 acres, and we're, wor we're really working hard to open that up in the future. Mm -hmm. And from Painted Rock, uh, hikers, um, people who access the park, will be able to use the Lafayette Moraga Trail to come all the way into St. Mary's campus and then. Uh, once we complete this campaign up to Harvey Ranch and all the way up to Carr Ranch, which we uh, saved many years back, and uh, then out to, as you mentioned before, the 15,000 acres Los Trompas uh, Regional Wilderness and the San Leandro Watershed. So pretty amazing. Um, I'm also going to pan around here so you can see Harvey Ranch a bit. And, and, oh, wow. and um, Emily is up there. You can't see her, but she is up there. Uh, waiting to report on what she sees. 
but you, and and Melanie, you're basically at the top of the hill, and if you just go down that hill, that's the swing gate that is the boundary yes. of Harvey Ranch. And I'm I'm expecting I can actually see on Emily's shot the Victoria Cross off in the distance. Emily, it looks to me is just beyond that that second set of trees, well up the ridge. So let's yes, yes there's the backside of that ridge. She's looking north. We're looking to the south. Emily, you're in a beautiful spot and actually able probably to see Melanie at a distance, but tell us what you're seeing as well. Uh, well, thanks for having me up here. It's really a beautiful day. I couldn't ask for a better work morning. Um, I am, Melanie is, as she pointed out, she's behind me. I think if I move over, you might be able to see where she, she's actually a little bit further behind the trees, uh, six Geisberger. Right. Um, and I at the observatory and I'm looking in this direction and I'll show this to you out towards Carr Ranch, which I, which Melanie gave you that last direction. If you walked from the swing gate and kept walking, that's the direction you would walk. Um, and what I want to point out is as I'm up here, there is very little to see except this beautiful landscape. This is behind me. I'm going to turn this around. And then oh, wow. I'll show you down below. So this is the direction. Is, can you see that well, Linus? Yes, actually, you are. To my my eye here, you are looking right out the ridge line uh, that to a place where the old Moraga Trail comes up from Bollinger Canyon down below, connects to the ridge trail that then goes all the way out to Car Ranch, and that that far ridge that to more or less left in in the left part of your frame yeah there you go now center that's car ranch and then sloping up from that is rocky ridge and if you hand a little bit further to the east a little bit further yeah no other way other way there mm -hmm. you go now we're seeing las trompas ridge and actually a little bit further emily i think las trompas peak so that's a view of essentially um, Bollinger Canyon very much to the south and if you keep coming around now we're really looking at Bollinger Canyon just down off of Harvey Ranch. Do you mind tilting down? I think uh, it might be interesting for folks to see the potential bench trail. It'll go I'm a gonna, little bit. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna go, there you go. Perfect. Yes, there you go. There's this beautiful, you see that that sunlit ridge down there the first ridge is sort of just beyond the valley that's part of the bench trail that's down in the oak canopy so this this property represents not only a beautiful ridge trail as we saw but also this oak canopy trail that comes up right at that point to connect to the old moraga trail to the ridge and out to car ranch but you can have this perfect loop trail up there that essentially starts at where Melanie's at just inside the swing gate, loops around down in the oak canopy or along the ridge in either direction, or if you want to keep going all the way out to Carr Ranch, and again, coming in from St. Mary's, and uh, St. Mary's has been a wonderful partner. We have a very good neighbor sort of relationship with them with respect to this, this campaign, and we have confirmed that folks will also be able to park at St. Mary's if you don't want to walk in from, from across the way to staging area or all the way from Painted Rock Preserve, be able to come into St. Mary's College uh, and for a very, very uh, reasonable fee park come up and and walk in from from there and all of this again if you're coming from rancho laguna park you can connect in already but that's a 2000 foot vertical climb it's it's a it's a significant hike this brings you out to all of that connective landscape already at altitude and just a beautiful experience that way i'm envious of you guys being out there it's just so nice it is, I will say, before we got on, there were some birds, I don't know if they were turkey vultures, looking for their um, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some sounds of some uh, animals and there's some cows in the back, so it's really idyllic. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, we were out the other day and uh, somebody pointed out um, a golden eagle and it was so big that you think it's a turkey vulture, but of course the wings are not, they don't have that hook in the wing, they're just, 
you know, massively more or less straight, uh, incredible wildlife out in this area. And that's an important point is that we're not just preserving it for public access. This is all very, very rich habitat with innumerable special status species that we're protecting their habitat uh, along with the watershed, clean air, clean water, uh, all of the wildlife, uh, as well as this balanced approach to having human uh, humans like us and you that are on this meeting be able to co-mingle with that wonderful habitat, which also sustains us in our lives in the area and, and regionally. So we're just, we're really thrilled mm -hmm. to be able to undertake this project. Um, let Melanie, maybe we can go back to you. I mentioned at the top of the show, and thank you, Emily, that was wonderful. Uh, at the top of the show, I mentioned that it's a $4 million campaign. Maybe as, as director of development, um, and, and Emily is, of course, uh, associate director and very much involved with uh, major gifts and, and uh, donors. Uh, so we're all commingled in this, in this proposition. With that said, maybe you could catch us up on where we are at with the public campaign. Sure. So yeah, um, the campaign project budget is $4 million. We launched the campaign last September, 2021. Uh, it goes until December 31st, 2022. Um, we're about a fifth of the way into the campaign and a fifth of the way uh, funds raised at about a million dollars. And uh, we are going to be having a lot of public hikes out here. So uh, stay tuned in our e-news or inquire within our website. Uh, we want to get as, much, as many people out here as possible to experience what it's like out on Harvey Ranch. Um, and if you if you would like to make a gift, you can go to www.jmlt.org. And if you've already contributed to the campaign, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. We are very grateful for folks' support, and I'm imagining that pretty much everybody on this this meeting today is is already in support of the land trust. In many cases, for many years, this is yet another really important project, and we very much appreciate your your support for that that good outcome. And uh, we're on our way. Uh, those are really, really impressive numbers at, at the very beginning of the, of the project. And I'm, uh, let's get it across the finish line. And we can only do that with everybody's help. And I think one way to really encourage that, I would very much encourage you to come and join some of these public hikes that will be docent led. Uh, we can make it work for you however we need to so that you can have feet on the ground and really take in the beauty of this property. So we hope to see you out there sometime very soon and we will send out those invitations to uh, you know that special circle of folks that we know are very interested in, in being there. So I think that's uh, this was a, supposed to be a half hour meeting. I think we're essentially there. Maybe we just wrap it up with that um, and uh, there's no farewell slide or anything. I think we should just leave folks seeing this beautiful landscape and say, have a great rest of the day. And thank you again. We look forward to seeing you soon out on the trail. Thanks everybody. Thanks. Thank you.